Hey YouTube, I got something pretty cool to show you guys today. This is a product that I've been working on for a while. Um, this is the Warthog Power Systems Beast Cap. And what makes this really cool is this is a new type of power storage uh, device for radio control applications. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, the standard issue LiPo battery that's pretty common in RC these days. But the LiPo batteries have some pretty significant downsides, and one of which is their maximum output current. This one is 450 amps for this uh, 5,000 milliamp hour pack. So you guys that run hugely powerful setups are big RC helis, rock crawlers, um, huge 3D airplanes, know what I'm talking about when I talk about voltage sag. When you hit the throttle really hard, your battery voltage dips down, you lose your acceleration performance. It's not a fun day, um, especially when you get down near the end of the battery, your acceleration suffers. So, let me just show you a little bit about how this works. So, Beast Cap is another way to store energy in an RC application. So, here's my voltmeter, and I just want to make sure that you guys can see what's going on here, so I'll put that in a way that you can see it. Now here we got a three cell battery, and when I test this on the voltmeter, it's showing us 12.18 uh, volts, and that's pretty much to be expected out of the three cell. Now, this cap right now is showing us 0.03 volts. So there's no real energy in it right now. It is currently discharged. But charging it is extremely simple. All you have to do is plug it in for just a split second. It charges off of your light bulb up to eight cells instantaneously. Don't use it on anything bigger than eight cells. Literally, you'll blow it up. So now watch. instantly up pretty close to 12 volts. Right now it's 11.7, but give it another quick jolt. And that's up to 12. So right now it's storing electrical energy and releasing it slowly. Now what if we wanted to release it really quickly? What if we hit that throttle crazy hard? Well, Got a little butter knife here, that'll be our throttle. Bang. Dead short circuit. When was the last time you could do this with a LiPo and not damage it? Just dead short your LiPo over and over and over and over and not have to worry about damaging it at all. I've actually, a couple of times, had to be pretty careful with Beast Cat because it was welding to my test to my test equipment. <laughs> the connectors were literally under those short circuit conditions welding themselves to things like that butter knife that I showed you. Now, are you going to be doing that much draw? Probably not. But this is going to even out your voltage sags. It's going to protect your battery from some of that burst overcurrent. And, uh, you know, it's an awesome, awesome choice for RC. I love it. I don't fly anything uh, big without it. I don't fly my quadcopter without it because it's super, super easy to install and gives me a lot of peace of mind. But before I show you how to install it, why don't I just show you one more thing? So I'm going to run some LEDs with Beast Cap right now just to show you that it holds energy, but notice what's happening to the LEDs. They're slowly dimming. That's because it holds a huge amount of energy. Well, it holds a huge amount of current that can be released instantly, but it doesn't hold a huge amount of actual energy. Whereas on a LiPo, these lights could run all day and never get dimmer. But, on a capacitor like Beast Cap, 
set our probes so you can see the voltmeter. See, that side's positive, so we'll do that and that. Now watch what happens to the volts as we connect our lights to BeastCap. So slowly draining down on the voltage. So BeastCap alone can't actually run a RC vehicle. But in conjunction with a properly rated lithium battery, you can get massive, massive, massive current drops to fuel your fuel your vehicle. And it's super, super easy to install. Let me show you guys. So this is one of my favorite little fun fly airplanes. It's a Park Zone Wildcat. And just to show you how simple this is to install, I plug the male Deans end into the battery. And I plug the female end into the ESC. And that's it. That's all that you need to do to get that extra power out of your battery that you deserve for your RC purposes. Now you can really run it on anything. That's why I'm such a big fan. I offer these on uh, my website with Dean's connectors, Traxxas connectors, EC3s, EC5s. I'm going to be doing XT60s. Name a connector and I'll do it for you guys. I also have a, a custom uh, capacitor pack builder. So if you run a pretty weird application or a really powerful application, let's say you got a 12 cell uh, uh, Goblin 700 that you're flying around and you want some uh, voltage uh, caps for that, let me know. Use my custom cap creator. I'll get back to you with a quote. If you uh, want to see some more about this, check out links below. I'll link you to my website and I'll link you to some videos of some of my customers doing real world testing in RC applications. But until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check out my website. Till next time, guys.